And this game requires overtime tonight between the Islanders and the Dallas Stars. Let's take a look at the overtime records brought to you by Verizon. This is the 17th overtime game for the Islanders in 46 games this season. Uh, that pace would put them in a tie for the NHL record by playing 30 overtime games this season if this pace were to continue, which I can't imagine it can. Well, and this, you know, this is a part where certainly the coach has not an opportunity to talk about strategy on the three-on-three. -three. You know, now he's just, he's got, he was talking to uh, both uh, Doug Huda and Johnny McLean about probably who's been with whom and uh, see what, uh, and then watch this situation. Oh, Horvat giving all sorts of problems to Harley. Islanders are playing their second consecutive overtime game. They lost quickly in the game in Chicago in the final game in, of Lane Lambert's tenure on Friday night. This is carried in by Matt Duchesne. And Matt Barzell made a nice defensive play to take it from him. And now Barzell starts ahead, banked it on for Bo Horvat with a path to the net. Horvat, winner! Well, they're hugging the goaltender at one end, and then, and then all the rest of the guys are hugging Horvath, so it's a kind of a team win for, for the Islanders, no doubt about it. And what a pass by Barzell as he's able to get it past the, the Dallas defender and Horvath. Great move, haven't seen that one. Likes to shoot high generally, right high, short side. Took it to his backhand and went up in the toy department, so... The Islanders find a way to give Patrick Waugh his first win as an Islander coach. And uh, in a very strong game for the Islanders, solid game played with the energy that everybody expects them to play or wants them to play. So this was a good team effort. A couple of mistakes here and there, but overall, you got to be really pleased with the result.